Welcome to the Automation Technologies RS Logix 500 training series. This is Russell White and I'll be leading you through some short examples on programming in this platform. What I'd like to discuss now is our ladder window. This is where all our programming is going to take place. This uh, is the actual program that's being run and activated on and as we mentioned before when talking about the uh, project window you can have several different ladders up. Uh, see we've got uh, our main ladder program. I've got an area where I'm doing scaling and uh, we do try to separate our programs. Uh, we'll get into a little bit later uh, so that we can make it easier to understand and, and easier to deal with. Um, I can have you know, several different programs up so now I've got three different program files. Now these are different program files but they are still all my same individual program that's running in this one processor. And just what this does is this gives you an easy way to be able to manipulate and, and get around your logic quicker uh, to get your logic in a format that's easily understood and uh, easy to work with. The last thing I'd like to talk about uh, today is our toolbars and the different toolbars that are available here. If you remember we could turn our toolbars on and off here in case you, you see one on my screen that you don't have on yours. Um, you just by clicking, see there goes my what they call the tabbed instruction bar. Uh, this instruction bar is really going to be your most useful toolbar I think that you'll have of all these different toolbars. You have your standard windows open, save, and new, and cut, and the things you're used to in other windows programs. You have the capability here to go online and offline and work with your forces. We'll get into that a little bit later. You also have some uh, information up in this area uh, that shows you whether you're online. Uh, how you're set up to go online, things like that, uh, some things that are uh, validation of your logic which we'll have to get into later also. But uh, the primary thing I want to point out now is uh, this uh, instruction bar right here. You have the capability to be able to enter instructions. If you notice I just entered a, entered a uh, contact here. Uh, you want to be careful. Uh, you don't want, to, don't want to put things where you don't really want them this in Alan Bradley style is definitely somewhere you don't want them. But uh, this gives you an idea of what you can do. You've got, uh, they're, they're organized in ways that are easy to uh, find and grouped in a way that, uh, that allow you to use uh, all kinds of different instructions and look for an instruction that you may not quite remember exactly what it was. You can come up here and, and click and and usually find uh, what you're looking for. Oh, there's the divide. I need a divide. I click on that and I've got a divide instruction in my logic now. So this is very useful. Um, you may get to a point later on where you don't need to use this quite as much, but as, as a beginning programmer, this will be something that will be very important for you to uh, be able to use and, and find instructions and be able to insert them into your program easily and quickly. Let's review a little bit what we've discussed during this introduction. What we've discussed is an overview of our different file and, and menuing commands up here at the top just to kind of give you an idea where those commands are and, and what what really these things do. I uh, haven't gone into great details. We can go into some of that a little later. But you know where they are and you and if you hear about something, if you're looking for something, you kind of know where to go. The other thing we've talked about is our project window. The project window being very important to be able to open up and work with our our ladder files, work with our controller and our controller properties, and work with our data files and be able to manipulate the information in them. We also covered the ladder window and uh, going ahead and, and being able to open and go to different ladder files and manipulate. You see we've still got our 
our scary rung up here that we've edited with uh, with our toolbars, which is the last thing we uh, talked about. Uh, the toolbar being, um, I guess, the most important thing I can think of right now for a beginner would be the instruction toolbar, and also having the capability to open and close, save, and uh, look at some of the status information that we might have going on with our program. So this really concludes our introduction. Now, if you want to go further, we'll get into uh, in more depth our different windows, our different file uh, commands, and uh, see if we can uh, actually get into making a program and, and doing something constructive. Thank you.